What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with day 30 of my vlogging experience in the state of Florida. And finally, finally, I can go back. Um, I got a call this morning from my work. And luckily, they're going to let me work in the days that I missed uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm very fortunate and blessed that I, I still have a job when I go down there to, or to dine. Um, some other things about the news of what happened. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail because I don't really want to start anything. I don't think I'm really going to name names of businesses but what had happened now that i'm i'm in a better state of mind is last night i told well what had happened two days prior i thought it was the water pump that had gone out on my truck i called in and asked them if they could replace said water pump or whatever was wrong with it and yeah they took it in, and there was nothing wrong with the water pump, but they took it out anyway, and then they told me that the thermostat housing was gone. So they docked on another $300. It turned out to be a $700 job. Um, I'm very irritated that they didn't stop. They just kept on going even when the thermostat housing was the problem. Um, thankfully, I can go home now. And really the kicker of all this is this business that, um, that, I've de that I dealt with, they, um, where was I really going with this? Oh yes, this morning when they called me, they tried docking on more money so they could fix a coil pack and put it in there. I said no. I said I was done. And then they proceeded to keep going with that. They were like, you need, you know, we're going to put a coil pack in your truck. You know, let us do it. I said no. And as I left the building, I said, may God have mercy on your business. Um, one of the things that kind of irritates me about this business is it claims that it is a it's a Christian business, Christian affiliated business, and you would think coming from a Christian affiliated business, they would have stopped that and not replaced the water pump, put everything back and just replaced what was there. But no, no, they just kept on going. So really, it kind of offends me that, you know, they, 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 to me, it, I just feel like I could be wrong. I feel like the Christian affiliation is just a business gimmick that what they're doing just to get people's money. So, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, I don't know. Everything is done. Thankfully, um, we've got it covered. I'm not going to say how I've got it covered, but thankfully, everything is going to be okay. You know, I remember I was praying with a friend of mine about this last night, and I feel like my God came through for me. So, I'm happy about that. It's just like, only gives me more reason to move somewhere else. Um, or continue living where I am now. Um, compared to people in Florida, to people here in Tennessee, yes, there are jerks in Florida, but at least those jerks will be point blank with you and tell you what's wrong. That way you have an idea to change something or if something requires changing. But here in the state of Tennessee, I just feel like people have this too nice concept, especially in Bradley County. They're super nice in front of you, but if you're not careful, they will stab you in the back. They are very petty. They can be, well, I take my words back. I've seen people that can be very petty, but some of the nicest people at face value. 
So, you guys, I'm just glad that this nightmare is over. Um, I highly recommend, uh, if I would give the name out to this business, I'd basically say, oh, in my recommendation, I've basically said what I've told you all now. I don't recommend it. There are other places, especially in East Tennessee, that would charge $450, and that's with both a water pump and a thermo thermostat intake or housing. So you guys, in the end, everything turns out okay, but uh, I've got a lot of money that needs paying back. I don't like doing these things, but you know, I have no choice. You know, what, what can I do about it? Having said that, I gotta get out on the road. Tomorrow we start vlogging again here in the state of Florida. Remember, Keep up with me at Dream Poet at Facebook, as well as my Instagram in the links below. Thank you all for your love and support. I love you all very much. Peace, you guys.